Have this feeling, feeling. haven't felt for so long Took a hold on me, I won't let go I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now I'm so Hello, I'm Senu and I absolutely love IKEA Thanks for joining me. Today I'm showing you around the IKEA in Yokohama, Japan as of January 13th. IKEA has made major price revisions in US, the UK and Japan, so there were lots of discounted items in store. I'm excited to share with you what I picked up. Now, let's talk about the hot topic on social media. IKEA's throwback revival series has been getting a lot of attention. They've added new items like this low chair. For those looking to add a pop of color, these are seem like an easy choice. In this video, I'm going to showcase the limited collection released in January and also some trending products that are buzzing right now. IKEA constantly introduces new products but they also face out many items. So you really have to buy the new products quickly before they sell out. Even I, who visit IKEA more than once a week, I was just at Ikea Maibashi you know, two days before this shoot, have missed out on items. So definitely check them out online too and don't forget to watch until the end. I had heard from viewers in US and other countries and finally the Dalian series has landed in Japan too. The product selection varies slightly from country to country. And I was disappointed to find out that speakers weren't available in Japan. Hey, look at this link! Isn't it amazing? Such an intriguing design. When I shared it on my stories, I got a lot of DMs saying it could be used to hang backpacks. It doesn't specify a weight limit, but it seems quite sturdy, being made of steel. I think you could hang things on it, but it's quite tall, so heavier items might be a bit challenging. It's deeper than I thought, which can really make a statement in a smaller room. It's got these little non-slip bumps, so I guess you can hang towels or hangers. The handle part seems to be made of bamboo. Cute, right? If you have any creative ideas for using it, please let me know in the comments. Here are some other items from the same series. This step stool caught my eye. I was thinking of buying it. It has these cute white bars, not just for exercise. A step stool can be versatile, even as a monitor stand. But it's bigger than I thought, about seven, eight inch high. For a monitor stand, that might be a bit tall. But as a stylish step stool, definitely a go. Have you ever seen anything with such a warning sign? It's a dumbbell. So heavy, it's three kilograms. A cute shape for three kilograms, right? Maybe saying three kilograms too much. Fitness gear in such cute pastel colors is rare, so I thought it was great. I also checked out cushion covers. There are so many new items. This is the Gems Lord G series with a classic check pattern. Very cute and so affordable. Look at these new embroidered items. It's this rectangular one is adorable. I ended up buying this striped bumpy one. I first considered this frilled one, but at 20x20, plus the large frills, it seemed too impactful for my space. But the frilled one has stripes on the back, which are super cute. This cushion is slightly textured, soft to the touch. I was previously using this Samella cover, one of my favorites and a rare long seller at Ikea. It's velvety, so cute with a luxurious sheen. 
I've used the polyester insert, the affordable option. Stripes seem to be the trend this year. The corduroy-like fabric is perfect for winter. I love it. This is the Osvalka, available in four colors. Next, let's talk about some recently discounted items. Please note that this is specific to Japan. Check your local prices on screen. I was always curious about this item and bought it after the price drop. This is the Svending rug. It's faux polyester, not real sheepskin. The back is non-slip, so it's not very slippery. I wanted to lay it by my bed. Waking up to something fluffy is just happiness but I was worried it might slide, so I also bought this. A non-slip mat for under the rug. This is the Stop Anti-Slip Underlay. It's quite thin, so it seems versatile. The width was perfect, so I'll keep it as is. Made of synthetic rubber, it's also suitable for heated floors. Laying it out, it felt a bit flimsy, but it really works. It doesn't budge at all. Thin but effective, I was impressed. It keeps the fluffy rug in place. Also great under kitchen mats. This rug being faux, you might expect it to be flat, but it's surprisingly fluffy. A big plus. Moving on, let's look at the table lamp ASIC EJA. Akka. Quite a new item and buzzing worldwide. The bulb is sold separately. It's a metallic table lamp. Cute, right? Fits well with mid-century decor. I chose this bulb, which looks a bit like a boiled egg. Painting it different colors is trendy, so I went with a white beige. While waiting for it to dry, let's look at other items. Next is the Hearns Ness mobile phone holder. From the same series as the previously introduced cable box, it's made of lightweight paperboard in a gentle beige color. So cute. Great for propping up a notepad. Writing a to-do list and standing it up like this is really convenient. Small enough to fit beside the desk. Handy for pens too easy to grab from behind. Super useful for jotting down daily tasks. Also a good spot for small gadgets. Stable enough for a phone. You can place it sideways, especially useful when charging. It can even hold a book upright. Next, a product recommended by my Instagram followers. Thank you to everyone who responded to my survey about recent IKEA favorites. I've saved the responses with pictures as highlights on my Instagram, so please check them out. This is the Tank Baird Step Stool. Currently, it's not available in the US, I'm sorry to say. Easy enough to assemble alone. Few screws involved. The assembly process isn't difficult. It's made of bamboo, so it's lighter than it looks. I thought it would be cute for plants but it solved the problem for my child at the dining table. They couldn't reach the floor. 
but this stool helped. I might need another one. My child loves it. <laughs> the cushion is also from IKEA. Very comfy to sit on. Now that the paint is dry, let's assemble. It turned out modern and cute, right? This is a smart bulb, adjustable in brightness and color temperature. You can switch between yellowish and whitish light. Mm -hmm. A separate remote is sold and with a separate hub, you can control it from your smartphone. The color options, you can find many colorful examples on Instagram. Thank you for watching until the end. I'm looking forward to your comments. Which country are you watching from? If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and subscribe. See you soon in the next video.